Hey there, my name is Rob Jr. and I'm an artist that lives in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas and this is my channel Creative Rob. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to share with you my newest work of art. It's uh, an oil portrait of Dr. Fossey and I titled this Leading America's Fight Against COVID-19. Uh, this is an 11 inch by 14 inch, uh, like I said, oil on canvas. And this is my time-lapse voiceover. Hope you guys enjoy it. So to start off, uh, as you can see, I have a sketch. And the way I came up with this sketch is I, I found an image of Dr. Fossey that I liked. And I put it in Photoshop and I broke it down into six colors. And after I break it down into six colors I will use a grid and sketch that out onto the canvas and what I f have found is the more precise I am with this sketch the better my painting turns out and when I break it down into six colors like this it, it's just uh, easier for me to comprehend and uh, there's no, I'm not my brain's not overloaded with information this just breaks it down and so after I add in these six basic colors from there what I'll do is go in and start blending things together and then I will actually use uh, the photo reference um, that's not broken down um, to to blend it together and add highlights and, and such. Uh, so if you don't know who Dr. Fossey is, uh, his name is Anthony Fossey and he is on Trump's administration's White House Cor Coronavirus Task Force. He's one we see on TV uh, addressing this COVID-19 pandemic uh, and just reading here off Wikipedia Fossey was widely seen to be one of the most trusted medical figures in the country and the re that's the reason I, why I chose to paint this guy uh, right now you know he's he's really helping out uh, the world not just America but helping out the world and I know he's not the only one but uh, this guy has been doing this for like 50 years um, he was involved with the HIV AIDS research and 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 pretty much changed the way we look at AIDS uh, he is 79 years old um, and very active if you haven't seen him on TV man um, I, I love this guy and he you know he's kind of having to go in and, and clarify things and explain this in simple terms to to all of us you know he usually goes on after Trump and um, in a respectful way he'll try to correct some of the things that Trump has said that was um, a little misleading or like maybe too hopeful so it's, it's been a he's had to walk a walk that line you know it, I'm sure it's been a very hard job So back to the painting, um, as you can see, I like to start off with the darkest colors and ease my way down into the lightest. Uh, 
I don't know. Did you guys see Trump re reposted something or retweeted uh, a tweet about Fossey? And that there was hashtag time to fire Fossey. And Trump goes on TV, he's like, <clears throat> I don't want Fossey fired. What are you talking about? They're like, well, you, you retweeted this post, and it says, you know, time to fire Fossey. What are you talking about? <laughs> are, are you, you know, do you, you really want us to believe that you didn't see that? Or, you know, crazy times, man. Yeah, let's, let's fire Dr. Fossey. You know, who's been doing this for 50 years and who's made incredible changes in the medical community that helps everybody. I mean, the guy is a legend in this field. And he's known to be, you know, the honest doctor. <laughs> It, yeah, I, I think if he if he fired Fossey, we'd be in a world of trouble. I think Trump would be in a world of trouble. He knows it too. So here I'm going in with a blender brush and softening everything up. Starting to come together here. This is an interesting brush. It's a liner brush, and you can get some very sharp lines with this. And then, if you're not used to oil painting, what I like to do to get these sharp lines is, uh, you know, you 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 mix a little bit of uh, oil into uh, your paint, and then you you got to put a lot of that turpentine in it and it will just glide glide onto the canvas and if you're doing wet on wet the, the ala prima style um, it's it's if you're painting on top of wet paint you 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 definitely um, want to use the paint when it's uh, kind of watered down and, and not watered down but you know with the turpentine uh, you get that that paint nice and liquidy it'll glide onto the thicker paint and if you watch Bob Ross you'll, you'll hear him say that too Now I'm going in and adding some of the highlights. Now, I, I know if you have been following following along on this series, I uh, I'm not interested in making this photo realistic. I don't want to go there. I don't enjoy doing that. I think uh, it's very, very good practice and it'll make you a better artist. And it's always neat to see. But I'm not a printer. 
so what I'm doing here is going in with my palette knife and just blocking in color. I love the texture it gets. Uh, super cool. So now with a clean knife I'm going in and making scrapes and smudging paint and, and taking the edge of that knife and creating cutting lines. Uh, it's it's fun to do this it's expressive uh, it's terrifying <laughs> you don't want to overdo it you can't overdo it you can't underdo it or it won't look right um, yeah it's it's been very enjoyable so I'm getting ready to make up mix up some orange and the reason I, I chose orange is uh, it can also symbolize the quest for knowledge and I feel like that represents Dr. Fossey perfectly or any, any doctor in that matter now I'm going in with my scraping tool and adding some some scrapes. And I got another scraping tool I decided to use to make my signature with. It's pretty cool. I just uh, found that out on this painting. Now I'm going back in. I, I noticed an error I had made, so I'm just correcting it. And here's the final product. I still need to varnish and paint the sides, but this is Dr. Falsi uh, leading America's fight against COVID-19. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Uh, thanks for following along. Following along. Uh, if you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be doing some cool paintings like this. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. You guys stay safe out there. Have a good one.